The rising tensions between the world's two most powerful countries, the United States and China, after several military close calls. In the most recent incident, U.S. Indo-Pacific Command says a Chinese warship came within 150 yards of an American destroyer above the Taiwan Strait. These images were captured by Canadian broadcaster Global News. Tonight, both China and the U.S. are standing their ground. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze reports tonight from the White House. Tonight, tensions flaring after that Chinese warship nearly collided with a U.S. military destroyer in the Taiwan Strait. Canadian broadcaster Global News capturing the Chinese vessel cutting across the path of the American ship on Saturday, coming within 150 yards of the U.S. destroyer. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin issuing a stark rebuke to China's government. Do the right things to rein in that kind of uh, conduct because I think Accidents can happen that could cause things to spiral out of control. But overnight at a security summit in Singapore, China's defense minister defended its warship, telling the United States to, quote, mind your own business and calling the U.S. and Canadian military presence in the Taiwan Strait a provocation. The near collision, the latest episode straining an already tense U.S.-China relationship. Just last week, a Chinese fighter jet flew within 400 feet of an American spy plane over the South China Sea. U.S. officials criticizing the maneuver as unnecessarily aggressive. And earlier this year, that massive Chinese spy balloon traversed the continental U.S. before being shot down off the South Carolina coast. They're trying to flex their muscles and advance authoritarianism. We need to stand strong, and certainly this administration needs to stand strong against this type of, uh, of coercion and just intimidation. Elizabeth Schulze joins us now from the White House. And Elizabeth, how is the Biden administration responding after the string of incidents? Lindsay, a senior State Department official is in Beijing tonight for a rare visit as part of an effort from the administration to maintain an open dialogue with China. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says he does expect that President Biden and Chinese President Xi will meet again in person at some point. Lindsay. Elizabeth Schulze for us from the White House. Thanks so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.